Hello everybody, I'm Eternal Flame here, and today I'm here to talk a little bit about Kusakabe versus Sakuna, because that seems to be the battle that is coming in the future, and what I think is going to happen in the next chapter between Kusakabe and Sakuna, and what my actual prediction is. Now, if this ends up aging like spoiled milk, then oh well, you can come back here later and tell me I was wrong. Now, I am going to start this video with this. I genuinely don't think Kusakabe and Sakuna are going to fight at all in the next few coming chapters. The reason why I don't think this at all is because, well, Kusakabe does not stand a chance against Sakuna. I'll be honest with you guys. I think Kusakabe is one of the most underrated characters in terms of power level in all of JJK, by a long shot. But I don't think you guys need me to tell you that Sakuna would more than likely one-shot or deal with Kusakabe pretty easily, considering he's already landed a Black Flash. Which is going to make his curse energy output return even faster, and basically make a lot of the damage done to him just recover a lot faster in comparison. Now, there is a potential chance that Kusakabe might end up blocking some of the slashes of new Shadow Style, but I'm not here to talk about any of that. What I'm actually here to talk about is the potential of Kusakabe actually talking with Sakuna rather than them actually fighting. Now, this first came as a theory idea in my head through one of my most recent videos of seven more insane JJK theories from you guys, which you guys absolutely smashed that video. But on a side note, that's where this entire theory came from. Well, one of you guys had suggested that it could be possible that Sakuna is actually going to talk to Kusakabe rather than Sakuna fighting against Kusakabe. And while I talked a little bit about that theory in that video, I'm going to talk about it a lot more because it's genuinely been on my mind and that's why I'm making this entire video. About the potential conversation that might come between Kusakabe and Sakuna in the upcoming chapter, as well as why they might actually have a conversation, which the why they're going to have a conversation is actually going to be the first part I'm actually going to focus on in this video. And I actually have a few reasons why I do believe they're going to have a conversation, which their first reason is because of the position that Sakuna seems to be in. Because when Sakuna does have his thumb on his chin, it looks like he is thinking, because this is the very common thinking Sakuna pose. But more importantly, this is the pose he took when he was staring at Megumi and when he first noticed Megumi's potential. The first pose where Sakuna had first called out how good Megumi was doing by actually fighting alongside a Shikigami and the potential of his curse technique, but at the same time where Sakuna will actually called out Megumi for wasting his potential. Now keep that in mind for a little bit as we're going to move on to the second reason of why I think he's going to have a talk with Kusakabe, which actually has to do with Kusakabe's potential and something Sakuna might actually see in Kusakabe. After all, while Kusakabe has similar traits to Megami that I think Sakuna is actually going to call out in his potential of underestimating himself, which is a very Megami trait because Megami underestimates himself via relying on others and also believing that he himself could solve any issue through sacrificing his life, there was another person who also underestimated themselves and didn't go all out against Sakuna in their battle purely because they already believed they would have lost, in a very similar way to how Kusakabe is already believing he's going to lose before the battle even starts, that person being Jogo himself. The reason why I believe calling out Jogo is so important is because Jogo and Kusakabe both have very similar mentalities, where they both automatically assume that they aren't going to be of much value and instead try and take easier ways out and try and take more guaranteed safer paths, where Jogo didn't activate his domain expansion because he didn't want to risk having a clash with Sakuna because he knew he would lose that clash, not even risking it or trying it. But this is even more shown through Kusakabe through the entirety of Shibuya as well as other arcs, where Kusakabe is mainly just working around Around and trying to sneak around the special grades. However, he can hang around with the special grades as Ino had called out himself, as well as Kusakabe being the strongest of the grade ones. And the potential of Kusakabe always being shown when it comes to protecting others, something that Sakuna would know about. And that is what I believe Sakuna is actually going to talk to Kusakabe about, or at least one of the two reasons that I think he's going to talk to Kusakabe. The fact that he can notice two very similar traits into two other people that he knew had potential, that being Jogo and Megumi. Those traits of underestimating oneself, those traits of only trying to take the guaranteed route, those traits of not trying to gamble and risk for more, and instead just going for the safe route is I think something that Sakuna is going to call Kusakabe out on, so he can potentially get up full potential Kusakabe to fight, in hopes that he might be able to draw out some potential that he would have seen in Jogo and Megumi, as basically another way that he had learned in order to make himself even better. After all, while Megumi and Jogo both suffer from those traits, Kusakabe suffers massively from those traits and yet in some ways it could be believed that he wasn't held back in his potential at all or maybe he just has so much potential that the fact that he was held back is still that impressive because he was able to achieve the level of a strongest grade one when Gojo had said a while back to Megami that if he kept having the mindset he did he wouldn't even be able to reach a level of Nanami because of how much he underestimates himself yet Kusakabe over here has close to no faith at all in himself and yet was able to reach a level that was even stronger than Nanami the limit that Gojo said would exist for Megami. 
However, it's not just potential that I actually think that Kusakabe is going to talk to Sakuna. I think there's going to be a separate reason, which is going to be about how Sakuna might want to learn how Kusakabe was able to achieve such a level of strength without actually having a curse technique. And more importantly, if he can pull any potential out of Kusakabe because of the fact that Kusakabe is still mentally holding himself back, or at least he should be mentally holding himself back. And finally, maybe Sakuna wanting to ask why Kusakabe is here, because he can clearly tell that Kusakabe is afraid. Now, as a result of this conversation, I can see a lot of interesting ways going if Sakuna does actually choose to talk up to Kusakabe rather than choosing to immediately fight him. For example, I can see this leading to Sakuna being curious to see whether someone who just purely practices on the fundamentals alone can have fundamentals that match someone with a cursed technique to practice on. I said that in reverse order. In other words, Sakuna might want to see if his fundamentals can match Kusakabe, someone who is purely practiced in fundamentals. After all, the greatest and most terrifying trait from Sakuna is the fact that he's always trying to learn and always trying to self-improve himself. In the words of my friend Kuroko Shinobi, while we view him as the peak of Jujutsu Sorcery as well as the verse views him as that, Sakuna doesn't view himself as that. Jujutsu Sorcery is something that can always be improved. And if Kusakabe represents something as the peak of fundamentals, and Sakuna might want to test if his peak of fundamentals can match against that, despite the fact that he has had a curse technique for that long. Which is why I also think Sakuna is going to work so hard to try and remove Kusakabe's mental limitations and him downplaying himself, because Sakuna is going to want to test Kusakabe at his best, in a similar way to how we saw Sakuna fight against Jogo, where instead of trying to force Jogo to use a domain, he instead chose to limit himself to using Jogo's specialty to see if he could beat Jogo in his own specialty with the fire arrow. So I could very much see a very similar thing happening, especially because Sakuna was around at the same time that the new Shadow Style was actually created. Created. So Sakuna wanted to compare himself to New Shadow Style, see if Kusakabe had surpassed every New Shadow Style user in the past, is something I could see being very in character for Sakuna to do after they have this talk. However, this isn't the only result that I can actually see happening from this talk like I mentioned beforehand. This could also lead to some very interesting introspection from Kusakabe, us being able to see Kusakabe's actual motivations for why he is still here. After all, Kusakabe had made it clear to everybody else, they did not need to join into this fight, no one was forcing them to be here, yet Kusakabe despite being afraid of Sakuna and not even wanting to fight him in a 1v1 and still doubting himself even now, is about to go face to face against Sakuna. With a clear amount of nervousness, which might actually hone Sakuna's interest on why Kusakabe is still here, which could lead to a conversation between the two of them or Sakuna just straight up reading him. Which could lead to Sakuna getting him out of that mental funk, effectively playing the role of world's best therapist in that moment as well. Which, even if Kusakabe is pulled out of this mental funk, I really doubt that he's going to stand a chance against Sakuna, but I think he will do massively better and end up entertaining Sakuna a little bit more and keeping him in that good mood, which is very in character for Sakuna to want to get the best out of every opponent he fights. That is how Sakuna fights, that's how Sakuna chooses to live. He wants to enjoy himself, and that has been made very clear. He also enjoys challenging himself. So this is something I could see being very, very likely, Sakuna playing therapist in order to try and get Kusakabe to basically act at his best. After all, it has been long since established that mentality can massively nerf characters in the world of Jujutsu Kaisen. So if Kusakabe's mentality has been nerfing him for the longest time, and Sakuna being able to very clearly see that, instead wanting to make sure that Kusakabe was acting at his absolute best before killing him, rather than having Kusakabe just continue to fight the way he is, would make a lot of sense. Which could lead to a potential defensive battle where Kusakabe stalls for long enough for someone else to join into the fray and actually support Kusakabe in the battle in order to let him live. Or for all we know, Sakuna is about to one-shot him by pulling out the fire arrow. Or for all we know, someone else is about to join into the battle and this is just a complete fake out from Gege. Any of this is possible, however that's just my opinion on what could happen between Kusakabe and Sakuna. I want to see what you guys think in the comment section down below. I'm going to see you all later, peace out, have a good day.